Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another RenderMan 23 tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to batch render an animation um, in Maya. Now there's a couple of things that you'll want to take into account if you are doing an animation. If you're batch rendering a single frame, this is pretty much the same thing, uh, but there are some specific things that you need to do for an animation. So the first thing we want to do is check under our Maya set our preferences under animation, check the evaluation mode. DG tends to work by default. Um, you may be set to parallel, um, but I, in my experience, DG gives uh, better results on animation evaluation. The next thing is under your render man preferences, you need to make sure that spool it's spooling to your local queue, unless you're using Tractor, which for most people you won't be. Uh, and the spool style is rib and not my batch. Otherwise, you're going to get output errors. This is the animation that I've got here. It's just 64 frames and it's going to be rendered out as an animation um, at a pretty low quality, but that's going to be okay for this example. So I have 64 frames, so I want to make sure I set the frame range under our render settings. Click animation, change your end frame to whatever it is. And by frame, it's going to, how if, it, if you wanted it to render every second frame, then you could do type 2 in there. The next thing you want to make sure that you're rendering the correct camera. If you've created a new camera, you'll need to select that. And then select your output resolution. I'm just going to output it at HD 540. If you're wanting to set your output type to something other than an EXR, you can do so here. You can set it as a PNG or a Targa. Um, or a TIFF or something else. However, for most cases when you're compositing, you'll want to use a 32-bit um, file type and OpenEXR will be the best to use with that. The only other thing that you might consider is Deep EXR if you're doing a deep export, um, which I won't cover here. And all your other render settings um, I'll go through in a separate tutorial. Now it's worth noting that if you render a single frame, you can have a look at its render time by bringing up the um, it viewer and clicking the single frame render and then hitting i and that will give you the inspector so we can see my render frame time is 15 seconds so you need to multiply that by um, however many frames you have and bear that in mind um, I, you this isn't very well optimized i could probably do a little bit better but um, just for this tutorial i've kind of done it very quickly Finally, you need to make sure that your scene is saved and your project is set. I've already saved my scene and set the project, but if you haven't set a project or created a project, make sure you do that in the project window if you need to create a new one. Once that's done, you can go to the RenderMan uh, dropdown and hit Batch Render. Okay, so you can see that the render is complete and this uh, local queue will show me the elapsed render time, completed tasks, it's 128 because each frame was denoised, and then it will also show me the render time of each frame and the denoised time of each frame as well. To read your OpenEXR um, sequence, you'll need to use something like uh, Nuke or Fusion. Um, I wouldn't recommend using Photoshop because it doesn't handle EXRs particularly well. When you render with uh, denoise enabled, you will get both a variance and a filtered. Um, I'm just, I'll am just i show you both so you can compare. This is the variance, so this is the undenoised version, and this is the denoised version. So yeah, this is just a very quick look at how to do your batch renders. Getting your render time down does require uh, a little bit more than just what I've done here. I will try and cover that in a separate tutorial um, as with the render settings um, and if you haven't already seen the AOV tutorial and you're looking to do a batch render export with different layers make sure you check that one out as well. That's it for this tutorial if you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking the link below.